Physical Therapy at UTC, Tex Lewis. Jake Rawls. Jake is joined by his parents, Meg and Tim Maddox. He's been playing football for two years and plans to attend college, but is undecided on where or what his major will be. Jake Rawls. Ashton Cannon. Ashton is joined on the field by her parents, Josh and Christy Cannon, and Mandy Cannon and Kevin Culpepper. Ashton has been cheering for East Hamilton for seven years and has been a captain on the team for two years. She plans to attend college and study radiation protection. Ashton Cannon. Isabella Glover. Isabella is joined on the field tonight by her parents, Chris and Kelly Glover. Isabella has been cheering for East Hamilton for six years. She plans to attend a four-year university, but is undecided on where. Isabella Glover. Emma Grady. Emma is joined on the field by her family, Jeff, Lee, and Blake Grady. Emma has cheered for six years at East Hamilton. She plans to attend the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, go Vols, to manage in kinesiology. Emma Grady. Yeah. 
Elsie Holt. Elsie is joined on the field tonight by her family, Adam Holt, Hainsley Holt, and Amber and Andy Baumick. Elsie has been cheering for six years, including four at East Hamilton. She is the captain of the competition cheer team. Elsie plans to attend Chattanooga State and major in nursing. Elsie Holt. Isabella Lasea. Isabella is joined on the field by her parents, Jessica Licklitter and Eric and Emily Lasea. She's been cheering for seven years. This is her first year cheering at East Hamilton, and she plans to attend college and major in elementary education. Isabella Lasea. Maddie Morrison. Maddie is joined on the field by her parents, Greg and Leanne Morrison. She has been cheering for two years. Maddie plans to attend a four-year university, but is undecided on where. Maddie Morrison. <laughs> Kennedy Price. Kennedy is joined on the field tonight by her family, Jay, Angela, and Alexis Price. Kennedy is a seven-year cheerleader for East Hamilton and has served as captain for two years. She plans to attend a four-year university and major in mechanical engineering with a minor in physics. Kennedy Price. Brooklyn Ward. Brooklyn is joined on the field tonight by her family, Aaron and Gennaro Windman. This is her first year cheering for East Hamilton. Next year, Brooklyn plans to attend the University of West Georgia or East Tennessee State University and study forensics. Brooklyn Ward. Aria Lee Altuzar. Aria Lee is joined on the field by her parents, Anna Cellular and Alonzo Altuzar. She has been dancing for the Sugar Kings for one year, but has been a dancer since the age of three. Aria Lee is an aspiring tattoo artist and plans to continue her artistic career in downtown Chattanooga while majoring in nursing at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Aria Lee Altuzar. Annabella Dudley. Annabella is being escorted by her parents, Tim and Lori Dudley, twin sister Emma, older sister Allie, and newborn nephew Hudson. She wishes her older brother Parker to be here for her now, but he now resides in Utah. Bella has been on the dance team for three years. She plans to attend the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, go Bills and major in sports medicine, Annabella Dudley. <laughs> Callie Gregory. Callie is joined on the field tonight by her family, Eric, Kristen, and Will Gregory. This is Callie's third year on the dance team, and she cheered for three years prior to that. She plans to major in elementary education, but is undecided on where she will attend. Callie Gregory. Gabrielle Jones. Gabrielle is joined on the field tonight by her sibling, Tori Passmore. This is Gabby's first year on the dance team. She plans to attend college and major in criminal justice before going to law school. Gabrielle Jones. Ariel Moses. Ariel is joined by her mother, Deborah Mosley, her brother, Willie Stewart, and her best friend, Zakiya Hodges, Faith Wadley, and Arasta Stampley. She's been on the dance team for two years and serves as captain. Ariel plans to major in real estate or athletic training. Ariel Moses. Claire Tanur. Claire is joined on the field by her mother, Amy Tanur, and her sisters, Allie and Katie Finley. Claire is a five-year member of the Sugar Canes and serves as a captain. She plans to attend the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Claire Tanur. <laughs> Michaela Bogue. Michaela is the daughter of Michael and Jessica Bogue. She is the 2022-2023 tuba section leader. Michaela plans to major in kinesiology and then become a chiropractor. Michaela Bogue. 
Spencer Bottoms. Spencer is the son of Robert and April Bottoms. He has served as a sophomore band representative, first sergeant and uniform manager his junior year, and is a band captain this year. He plans to attend college for music education with a minor in saxophone performance. Spencer Bottoms. Shelby Kane. Shelby is the daughter of Daniel Kane and Laura Housewright. She serves as the senior rep for band. She plans to attend a four-year university and major in musicology. Shelby Kane. Grace Caraglado. Grace is the daughter of John Caraglado and Lana Caraglado. She served as a junior band representative and is drum major. She plans to attend college and major in nursing. Grace Caraglado. David Culp. David is the son of Robert and Marcy Culp. He serves as the trumpet section leader. He plans to attend a four-year university and study computer science and film. David Culp. Vivian Dittman. Vivian is the daughter of Eric and Emily Dittman. She has been in the band and played trombone for seven years. She plans to attend UTC or Chat State and major in journalism. Vivian Dittman. Eli Doran. Eli is the son of Jonathan Doran and Lorraine Doran. Eli serves as the librarian and clarinet section leader of the band. He plans to attend Lee University and major, major in music education. Eli Doran. Rebecca Fernandez. Rebecca is joined on the field tonight by her family, Barbara, Miguel, Abigail, and Miguel Fernandez. She has played the flute in the band for four years. She plans to attend Carson Newman and major in music and hopes to travel around the world and share her music. Rebecca Fernandez. Rodrigo Garcia Guzman. Rodrigo is the son of Jorge Garcia and Gabriela Gar Guzman. He has served as captain of the color guard his senior year. In the future, he plans to attend college, major in marine science, and continue color guard. Rodrigo Garcia Guzman. Kendra Haven, Germany. Kendra is the daughter of Matt Davis and Christy Germany Davis. She plans to attend Tennessee Tech to major in creative writing and wants to teach elementary English. Kendra Haven, Germany. Jennifer Graff. Jennifer is the daughter of Juliet Huey. She serves as a librarian and flute section leader. She plans to attend college and study anthropology. Jennifer Graff. Caleb Jensen. Caleb is the son of Billy and Christy Jensen. He is the center snare in the drum line and plans to attend MTSU to enter the aerospace program and become a pilot. Caleb Jensen. Grace Johnson. Grace is the daughter of Candy and Jess Johnson. She plans to attend UTC majoring in theater education she also plans to spin with the Phantom Regiment and Guard, Grace Johnson. <laughs> Riley Lawson. Riley is joined on the field tonight by her family, Lisa Lawson, Mark Lawson, and her brother, Lake Lawson. She has played the trumpet for four years. She plans to attend UTC and major in interior architecture and design. Riley Lawson. Ryan Lodge. Ryan is joined on the field by her family, Amy Lodge, David Lodge, and her sibling, Rise and Megan. She serves as the drum major. She is undecided on her plans after high school. <laughs> Natalie McNelly. Natalie is joined on the field tonight by her mother, Mallory McNelly, and her uncle, Kendall McNelly. 
She has served as the first lieutenant her junior and senior years. She plans to attend college and obtain a music education degree. Natalie McNelly. Kripa Patel. Kripa is the daughter of Jihasha Patel and Nalesh Patel. She plans to attend college for pre-law and business. Kripa Patel. Sienna Poole. Sienna is the daughter of Jennifer Poole and Chad Poole. She is the first sergeant in the band. She plans to attend UTC and major in environmental conservation. Sienna Poole. Kamaria Real. Kamaria is the daughter of Trina and Sean Real. She plans to attend college and major in psychology and criminology. Kamaria Real. David Scott. David is the son of Leonard Scott and Veronica Scott. He is the equipment manager and drum captain. He plans to attend UTK, go balls, and major in biomedical engineering with a minor in percussion performance. David Scott. Sophie Stallings. Sophie is joined on the field tonight by her family, family, Deborah and Randy Stallings, and her sister, Ashley. She is a guard lieutenant and media manager of the band. She plans to attend UTC and perform with the color guard, Sophie Stallings. Jacob Swearingen. Jacob is joined by Marty Swearingen, Allison Swearingen, and John Crotain on the field tonight. He serves as the librarian, first sergeant, co-section leader, and tech director of the band. He plans to attend UTK labels, and major in geography information systems, Jacob Swearingen. Yeah. Ashlyn Watterson. Ashlyn is joined on the field by Heather Watterson. She plans to attend UTC and major in studio art. Ashlyn Watterson. Sixty-seven seniors and their families, thank you for all you have done for East Hamilton High School. Good luck in your future. Thank you. 
go. Wait, wait. Hold on, Q. Yeah, uh, feel like I'm at the tip of the top of my game, looking down at the rafters. I had to sun these boys, can't leave them bastards. A lot of dudes, just some undercover actors. I don't fall for it, I'm privy to all your tactics. Yeah, so try again, it's time to take a vitamin. Yeah, and vitamin, welcome to the lion's den. And I'm Mufasa, big boss in charge of coming in like a bull. You see me raising the stock up, uh, yeah. So baby, you gon' need some patience. I already won, now I'm just making a statement, uh. Damn, baby, why your mans keep hating? You asking about the cake, you here for the celebrations? And I ain't fishing, I ain't really into baiting. I know they all wish I'd take away they maiden, but sorry I'm taking, me and my lady mating. She look me in the eyes and tell me how much she loving on my... Uh, confidence, yeah It really shouldn't be no arguments Cause you're now viewing the greatest of all time Saying I can't get better I promise they all lying on my confidence Yeah, that's right Uh, look, I think it's time you start using your common sense Everybody watch out cause the bomb is lit I got that, uh, 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 confidence That's right Confidence, yeah, uh, confidence, that's me, hold up, yeah, ooh, uh, 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 I'm sorry if I stutter, yeah, my brain move a little faster than others, yeah, I even keep a close eye on my brothers, cause sometimes it's your blood that turn into blood suckers, yeah, ooh, and I'm on a big mission, my old team got a plate up in the kitchen, yeah, I'm talking everything, I make all the yeah, they come a long way from where they come up missing I blame it on my confidence, yeah Promise I'm really this the star in the shit And yeah, you're now viewing the greatest of all time No need for thank yous, the pleasure is all mine That's my confidence, yeah, that's right No downplaying my accomplishments You tell me arrogant, I take it as a compliment I get that
two. Two is up. Focus two.
of the Hurricanes. I'm Gabriel Shry. Thank you for tuning in for tonight's presentation of high school football. It's East Hamilton High School and the Wildcats of Hickson High School going at it, doing battle here in the last regular season game of the high school football season here in Tennessee. The Hurricanes have punched their ticket to the playoffs, likely to host next week, and we're excited to be bringing you this action here tonight. Hickson and the Wildcats will be kicking the football away here to get this contest underway. For the Hurricanes, Kyrie Willis and Jake Rawls. East Hamilton during the regular season, six and three overall record. Carrying that into tonight's contest against the Wildcats who are five and four on the year. Wildcats led along the sideline by Gary Murray, the Hurricanes led by Grant Reynolds. Kickoff is away, fielded on the far side. Hurricanes bunched up and their man dragged down as he crosses over the 25 to the 28 yard line of their own side of the field. Isaac Smith kickoff buried there in the middle of that return team, keeping it away from those return men deep. Here comes the starting offense of East Hamilton High School and the Hurricanes led onto the field by quarterback Wandrick Bullard. Tailbacks are Mike Hinton and Javon Bullard, Zachariah Labou, the big man, Kyrie Willis, Jake Rawls catching passes, and of course David Cole, Caleb Ledesma, Colin Johnson, Andrew Gilbert, Josh Brown, and Logan Carmona clearing the way up front. Here's the give to the close side and nothing doing for the ball carrier right here. Javon Bullard took that one on a sweep. Dragged down right away. Trammell Davis was on coverage right there and roved across the backfield. Broke after Javon Bullard and was able to tackle him for a loss right there, about five. Second and long here. Right up inside and getting the football back down to the 25, maybe 26 yard line. Gain of a couple right there for the signal caller of the Hurricanes. East Hamilton needs about 11 yards right here. Two on wide on either side for Bullard. He wants to throw. Pressure on his face. The check down to David Cole who returns for the football. He gets a gain of about five right there and is tackled down. That'll make it fourth and six for the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. The Wildcats of Hickson sending out their return unit here. Kendrick's back deep as Hickson punts this one away. Good looking punt right there from Ethan Hickson. 
And Kendricks will not touch this one as the Hurricanes will just go ahead and down it at the 27-yard line. First and 10 as we'll get our first look at the Wildcat offense here today. Three out wide, two on the far side for the Cats. Here's the snap, rolling to the far side, feeling a bit of pressure. This one is tipped and grabbed. Wow, what an interception, and he could go the distance. He will. Touchdown, East Hamilton High School. Michael Hinton with the unbelievable defensive play. That makes it six to nothing. Incredible. Nine fifty left to go here in this first period of action. It's six nothing. East Hamilton gets the delay a game there on the point after try. And they'll try again here. Snap is good. Hold is good. PAT is sent up away and through. So that means it is seven to nothing here at East Hamilton High School. Hurricanes leading on top of Hurricane Hill. So after the pick six by Michael Hinton, the Hurricanes will kick the football back to the Wildcats here. This one gonna sail out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. It'll be Wildcats ball, first and 10 with their own 20 yard line. Here comes Chase Barnard in the offense of Hickson High School. There's the give, tailback trying to push his way up inside. Not a whole lot doing here for Hickson. Four split out wide, trips right for Barnard here. Second and about nine. Barnard's in trouble in the backfield and he will be sacked. Barnard 
Just three minutes gone here in quarter number one. We've already seen a touchdown. Zach Barcelona gets the sack right there, coming off the edge. Got to the backfield. Barnard had nowhere to go. Barnard on the keeper. He's in trouble again in the backfield. Evades one defender. Now tries to throw this away, and it'll go out of play. And there's a flag back near the 15-yard line, white cap. Calling for this one. Going to go against the offense, the Wildcats, as they'll march him back. This one is intentional grounding called against Barnard. So now the Wildcats will punt this one away. Smith from the back of the end zone boots this one. Willis and Cole gonna stay away from this one and it is downed just over the 40 yard line of Hickson High School. So East Hamilton's offense will take over at the 43 yard line that's how far they'll have to drive if they want to score a second touchdown here. Juan Bullard sends Rawls into motion. Bullard fakes the give. He's going to keep it. Tries to follow the right tackle right there. And he is dropped just behind the line of scrimmage by Brandon Burke. Great play by Brandon Burke right there, splitting up inside between the guard and the center, able to reach Bullard and knock him to the turf. It's second and ten. Now on second down. Bullard rolling to the close side. Gets a lead block from Javon Bullard. Wandrick Bullard is pushed out on the close sideline by Kendricks and Burke. One Bullard on the carry. Pushed out of bounds by Ethan Kushner. Gains about seven yards. It'll bring up third and three for the Hurricanes. Third and short here for East Hamilton High School. They've got trips left. David Cole, the isolated receiver on the close side. Javon Bullard is standing alongside Juan Bullard in the backfield. Bullard going to run with the football, headed left side, escapes one defender and then dragged down. Burke gets a hold of him, as done does Billingsley, and Adam Billingsley and Burke are able to drag him down, but he'll move the chains. Four out wide, two on either side for East Hamilton High School here. Wandrick wants to throw the football. Here's a laser to the close side. It's tipped and caught by David Cole. He runs the spin move, and they'll say he stepped out. Either stepped out or pushed out by Memphis Thomas there on the close sideline. A seven-yard gain on a pass that was tipped. Wondrick Bullard continues his electric season at quarterback. He has been so effective throwing the football, running with the football, and orchestrating this offense. Same formation here. Bullard this time follows the guard in the center, makes a cut, gets around a man. Burke grabs him from behind and now trying to push the pile into the end zone. The Hurricanes will score the touchdown. 
13-0. East Hamilton was 644 left to go in quarter number one. Weinrich Bullard finds his way up the turf and into the end zone. There's another look at that one right there, Bullard. He was ramped up and a pile formed right there outside of the goal line. The Hurricane big men able to help their guy over the line. And here's the fake for the two-point try. That'll go. Oh, they stopped that last one before he crossed the plane, so that's the touchdown. My mistake. Fooled by the line judge on that previous play there. He signaled for the touchdown. Then they reversed the decision, saying the defense gave up after the whistle sounded. Now the Hurricanes score the touchdown. Snap and hold are good. PAT is up away and through. So 14 nothing the score here on top of Hurricane Hill. Don't go anywhere. We'll have more high school football in just a moment. So it's 14-0, hurricane lead here on top of Hurricane Hill. Just under six minutes left to go here in this first quarter. Thanks for being with us. Third and long now here for the Wildcats. Clock stops following the incomplete pass. Barnard huddling up with his offense. Two 
Two out wide on the far side here. One man on the close side for Barnard. He gives it off, and the tailback is dropped right away in the backfield. Brewer reaches him, hits him hard, and topples him. So that'll make it fourth and long. About five minutes left to go here. This one, he signaled for a fair catch. Football is loose. And the officials say the Hurricanes did not touch the football. So that one will be down where it was scooped up by the Wildcat. Adam Billingsley recovers the fumble punt. It'll be first and 10 for the Wildcats. At the oh my two. goodness, they will say the Hurricanes <laughs> touched the football. So the Hurricanes turn the football back over to the Wildcats with 445 left to go here in quarter number one. A second chance for this offense. First and 10, here's the give. Tailback trying to push his way up in there. Reaches down just over the 45 yard line. Hickson High School gets about two there on the carry by Kendricks. Ben Cole, the one to drag him down. On second down, here's a laser pass to the close side, right on the midfield stripe. Diving and rolling to catch that ball there. Suttles able to grab that one. Just able to lose Von Zell Hinton. That makes it third and short for Hickson High School. Barnard in the shotgun. Same formation here, but Suttles will jump off sides. False start against the Wildcats. Be a loss of five yards. That'll make it third and about eight to go. Third and seven. Same formation here on third and eight. Barnard wants to throw. Here's one over the middle, tipped, and it's incomplete. Von Zell Hinton was right there. Went through the hands of his intended receiver. So that'll make it fourth and about eight to go. 314 left in this first quarter. Hickson trailing by two touchdowns already. Looking to play it safe. Flag right away here. All start against the Wildcats. They're going to march Hicks and High School back a couple extra yards. They'll make it fourth and twelve. Football being snapped from the forty-one. The punter is standing. Back on the 26. This one's sent away. Takes a Wildcat friendly bounce and roll down to about the 32 yard line. This one will be downed by Nix. And that's where East Hamilton High School's offense will take over.
First and 10 for Wandrick Bullard and his offense. Two out wide on the far side. He gives it off to Javon Bullard. Tries to go up inside and Burke hits him behind the line of scrimmage. He's able to drag him forward and maybe gets about a half a yard beyond that original line. Second and long now for East Hamilton High School. Same formation here. Deep back is Jake Rawls. Bullard drops the football. He's going to pick it up. In a bit of trouble. Unable to escape the defense right there. He's dragged down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Ethan Kushna got back there. Able to wrangle him and drop him to the turf. Just over two minutes left to go here. In this first quarter. Trips right this time for the Hurricanes of East Hamilton. Bullard wants to throw the football. Here's one, a duck to the close side, caught by LeBou. Caught it at the 40, came back towards the 35. Looks like they're going to spot him at about the 36. Well, the official in the center of the field is up on the 38. Now he moves it back to the 37. Hickson on to punt on fourth and seven. Snap is good. Hickson gets this one away. Return man back to field it on the 20. Takes a hurricane friendly roll from about the 29 down to the 23 yard line. So Hickson High School's offense going to take back over with a football. They'll need to go about 77 yards if they want to cut into the lead of East Hamilton. From the close hash mark. Barnard and Kendricks in the backfield. Barnard on the keeper. Ramsey Devine able to drag him down as he crosses over the 25. It'll bring up second and seven for the Wildcats. Barnard wants to throw. Pressure is coming. Able to fit that one in there. Around the hands of Von Zell Hinton, who is there defensively. Somehow Ron Suttle is able to catch that one. That's completed out to the 31 yard line. It'll bring up third and two for the Wildcats. Short yardage situation here. Could be a good time to go to the bag of tricks early, but we'll first take a break as that will end and quarter number one. It's 14 to nothing season here season on Hurricane season. Hill. Don't go anywhere. High school football continues in just a moment.
Quarter number two about to get underway. It's 14-0 for the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. Thank you for tuning in and joining us here tonight. Great high school football underway here between the Wildcats and East Hamilton. Lots of fun. I'm Gabriel Shry, Scott Moore, our director here tonight. Mallory and Hayden, both high school students. Running production here, doing a great job. Here's the give up inside. Mallory is a senior, is that right, Scott? Mallory's a senior and Hayden's just a freshman here, taking his first cracks at television. Excited to see what they'll be able to do here in a few years. Third and short, showing on the sticks. Looks like he got enough for a first down. And they're going to go ahead and move the chains. First and ten here for Hickson High School. Too wide on the close side. Football on the far hash mark. Barnard wants to throw it. Pressure is coming. Here's a bomb down the left sideline that falls incomplete, but there's a flag. Looks like back where Von Zell Hinton was defending that intended target. Pass interference, against the Pass interference is the call going against East Hamilton High School and the Hurricanes. They'll be first and ten for the Wildcats. Football going to be spotted on the 48-yard line of the Wildcats following that penalty. Two receivers on the close side, one man on the far. There's the give up inside to Kendricks. Ooh, knifing his way up in there and able to split the difference between a few defenders before Hinton finally drags him down right near that line to gain, and that might be enough to move the chains. They're going to go ahead and move the chains. First and 10, now down into Hurricane territory. Football all the way to the 41-yard line of East Hamilton High School. Here's the snap coming close side, and this one is intercepted. By the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School, Von Zell Hinton dives and grabs the football. What a play by the defensive back. Hinton has been electric on defense all season long. He recorded a 92-yard pick six in week one of this season. We'll get our look here for the first time in quarter two at this offense of East Hamilton High School. Bullard gives it off. Javon Bullard trying to carry it up in there, and he has stopped right near the line of scrimmage. A pair of defenders meeting him there. First, Billingsley gets a hold of him, and then Frederick able to keep him from making any more progress. East Hamilton able to get back to the line of scrimmage there, second and 10. Man in motion, two on the close side. Juan Bullard fakes the give, now the pitch to Rawls on the option. Rawls gets right down near the 45 yard line. Looks like they might spot him closer to the 42. 
Gain of about five yards by Jake Rawls. Makes it third and medium for the Hurricanes. Wildcats looking to put the kibosh on this drive right here. Rawls in motion again. There's the fumble. Bullard picks it back up. In a bit of trouble and dropped down right near the line of scrimmage. Dove up in there. Burke falls on him. That'll make it fourth and medium for East Hamilton High School. Hickson got the stop they needed here in quarter two. Ethan Hickson in to punt. Coco Kendricks back to return. Snap is good, punt is away. And this one rolls along the turf and out of play. Goes out Down on the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. For Hickson, I'll put the ball in play. First and 10. First and 10, here comes the Wildcat offense. Two on the close side for Barnard, he gives it off. Kendricks in trouble and dropped back behind the line of scrimmage, lost Kendrick's a yard, game. maybe two. Stopped on the play by Josh Brewer. It'll bring up second down to the Wildcats. Kendricks trying to follow the left tackle, left guard right there. Unable to get any space, and Brewer comes into the backfield, gets a hold of him, drops him for the small loss. Second and long now for Hicks in high school. Similar formation, this time Barnard's going to throw it. Being chased down and dropped by Michael Hinton. Isaac Ross. Isaac Ross and Michael Hinton right there, able to get a hold of him and drop him. Up third and 15 for, the for the sack and a loss of four more, five more yards. It's third and long now for the Wildcats. Those are exactly the type of plays that Grant Reynolds' defenses are known for. Four out wide, two on either side. Barnard, the floater to the far side. His target tries to make a little shimmy, gets to the 25 and is stopped by David Cole. Little toss on the flat right there to Ron Suttles. Gets him just past the original line of scrimmage, but it'll bring up fourth down for Hicks and High here, and they will punt the football away. Cole and Willis back deep to return. Isaac Smith takes the snap. Gets this one away cleanly. Fielded by Kyrese Willis right near the midfield stripe. He had a lane and the whistle sounds. Willis signaled for a fair catch. They're going to oh, say he called for the goal. fair catch right there. Flag back on the 45-yard line. Delay a game, against Delay a game is the call against East Delay Hamilton High School. It'll be first down Hurricanes at their own 41 yard line. 31. Here's the carry to the close side by Buller. Throws a little oh, stiff boy, arm and steps out. Kept Burke away from him. 
gain of two, maybe three yards for the quarterback of East Hamilton there. Brings up second and eight for the Hurricanes. On second down, trips right. David Cole, the isolated receiver, on the close side. And the flag before the play can even get underway. This one is going to be against Hickson High School and the Wildcats. Encroachment is the flag here. Quick five yard penalty. Same formation on second and short. Bullard wants to throw. Here's a bomb down the close side of the field. Fading away and trying to catch that football. David Cole is fouled in the process, or so it appears. Memphis Thomas was right there, and in a tangled mass, Cole and Thomas went to the turf. We'll see if the flag is on Thomas. It could be against Cole as well. And indeed, Thomas flagged for pass interference right there. Not a lot of options you have, though, when you're going up against a guy of that size, that physical ability. David Cole is so tall, so powerful. Rawls to the far sideline. Makes one man miss and tackled down from behind. Rawls on the carry, tackled by Adam Billingsley. Unable to escape a second defender. Rawls gains about three yards Gain right there. Yards. It'll bring up second and seven. Trips left, Cole alone on the far side for Juan Bullard. Bullard nearly fumbled the snap, able to catch it in midair before it hits the ground, and now dragged down from behind by Adam Billingsley. Bullard tackled on the play by Adam, Adam Billingsley. Also about three yards. It makes it third and long for East Hamilton High School here. Under six minutes to go in the first half of play. Trips right for the Hurricanes. Cole alone on the close side. And Bullard, the whistle sounds before he can get the snap off. This one is going to be a false start against East Hamilton. So they'll lose five yards and take another crack at it. Third and long now. Polar. Wants to throw the football, lets one go close side, and Cole is battling for it right there. Cleanly defended away. Bullard's pass, falls incomplete, intended for Cole. Defending was Memphis Thomas. Thomas getting a little celebration in there, and I think he's earned it. That is a big man going up to catch the football. That makes it fourth and long, and East Hamilton High School elects to send on the punt unit. And Ethan Hickson. Snap is good. Hickson boots this one away. Takes a hurricane-friendly bounce right near the 15-yard line and skeeters out of play along the sideline.
First and ten for the Wildcats. Three out wide for Barnard. Kendricks at his side. There's the give. Kendricks has a little bit of space up along the sideline. Trying to juke out Devon Harrelson and driven out of play. Right near the midfield stripe. But we do have a penalty flag on the play. A flag back near the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a holding against Hickson High School. That'll be a 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Replay, first down. Another look at that one right there. Logan Locke, the one who made the tackle. And a timeout taken down on the field. And they'll check on this young man. We'll take a break as well. Don't go anywhere. We have high school football. More coming up in just a moment. Wildcat player up and at him and off of the field. Hopefully he's all right. And we'll get back underway. 4.52 left to go here in this first half. First and ten for the Wildcats here. Barnard is in trouble. Spins around one defender and then sacked deep in the backfield. What a play. Taylor Smith able to get back in there. Grab a hold of the signal caller and drop him down for the big loss. It's second and very long. Kendricks takes the give. Von Zell Hinton tackles him right near the line of scrimmage here. Kendricks on the carry, tackle on the play by Ben Cole. Timeout, East Hamilton. Hurricanes and East Hamilton High School would like to take a timeout here. It is third and very long, so I'm sure Matt Murphy and the offense, the Wildcats, are thankful for a quick break to try and regroup and figure out what to do here. Fast pace health. East Hamilton High School's offense down along the sideline right now. Looks to me like they're itching for one more chance with the ball before the halftime break. Four minutes left here in period number two of action. It's third and about maybe 16 here. Thank you. 
Third and long, Murphy is alone in the backfield, running this play out of the shotgun. Wants to throw it, here comes pressure, he's hit as he throws, and able to catch the football. Going up top to grab that one is Ron Suttles. So the Wildcats do chip into that big time yardage they needed to gain, but it's still fourth down now. They would need about three to convert it and move the chains. There are three and a half minutes left to go here in quarter two, and the punt unit has come onto the field. Isaac Smith, the punter, back deep. Kyrie Willis and David Cole on to return for East Hamilton High School. Smith takes the snap on the 10, boots this one away. Kyrie Willis leaves this one untouched, and the Wildcats down it inside of the 40-yard line of the Hurricanes. And here's the fumble in trouble. Bullard back deep, scoops up the ball, tackled down behind the 25 yard line. A huge loss. The football is on the 25 yard line of East Hamilton. They need to get it to the 47 yard line to move the chains. Here's the snap, Bullard's in trouble in the backfield and he can't escape. Drop down for the loss here by Ethan Kushwa. Hickson Wildcats take a timeout. The football is on the 16-yard line of East Hamilton High School. They need to get it to the 47, 48-yard line to move the chains. Wildcats hoping to get the football back with just over two minutes left to go here in quarter two. Hurricanes thought they would have a chance at one more score. Third at about 32. Four out wide for Wandrick Bullard. Javon Bullard is the wing here. Wandrick gonna carry the football himself and tackle down at the 20 yard line. Got about four, maybe five yards. And so the Hurricanes gonna send on their punt unit as Hickson and the Wildcats go ahead and take their second time out.
Coco Kendricks back deep to receive the punt from Ethan Hickson. Here's the snap. Hickson gets this one away. Kendricks fields this along the 40. Across the midfield stripe. Now the opposing 40 and finally dragged down as he reaches all the way to the 28-yard line of East Hamilton High School. What a carry. Another look at that return right there. That is a gorgeous play. Talk about impressive. 144 left to go here in this first half. Plenty of time to work with the football for the Wildcats. Luke Finch checks down far side. This is incomplete. Murphy's pass intended for Kendrick's falls incomplete. Brings up second and 10 for the Wildcats. Second and 10 now following the incomplete pass. There's the give up inside. Nothing doing for the tailback there. Kendrick's on the carry. Medical line of scrimmage by Logan Carmona. Tried to knife his way up in there and Michael Kendrick's just could not get anything going. Clock continues to run, just 80 seconds left in this first half. Third and 10. Finch in the offense, back to the line of scrimmage here. Two wide, close side, one man on the back end. Finch wants to throw. Feeling the pressure, he ladles this one up there, and there's the flag. Flags Deep the in the red zone, a flag right in the area of the receiver and defensive back. 56 seconds left in quarter two. And the call is going to be pass interference against East Hamilton High School. Another look at that one right there. So it's going to be first down for the Wildcats of Hickson High School, and they still have about a full minute to work with. They're currently scoreless, 14 to nothing. They would love to punch in a touchdown here before this halftime break. Of course, the Hurricanes would love to shut them out through the first two quarters. Finch wants to throw it. Pressure is coming. Fires towards the back of the end zone. This is incomplete. A little bit of jostling going on there. Four players in the zip code of that football. Second and 10 from the 14-yard line of East Hamilton High School. Here comes Finch in the offense. He has two on the close side, one man on the back end. Kendricks alongside him. Wants to throw it. Here's one over the middle. This is incomplete. Kyrie Willis gets in there and tips that one away. Looking up on the play by Kyrie Willis. It'll bring up third and 10 for the Wildcats. Third down and 10. Football still on the 14 yard line. They're on the close hash mark here. Okay. 
Finch tries to draw the defense off sides. Doesn't work. Brewer holds his spot there on the turf, and now a timeout taken by Hickson High School. There's just under 47 seconds left here in the first half. It's 14 to nothing, East Hamilton lead, and the Wildcats are looking to take one back from the Hurricanes. After the timeout, it'll be third down for the Wildcats. Here comes Finch in that offense. Two on the close side, one man on the back end here for Finch. Kendricks at his side. 14 yards from the end zone. They need 10 to keep the drive alive. Here's the pass right outside of the goal line. It's snagged and carried in. Touchdown, Wildcats. It's 14 to 6. Frederick finds his way into the end zone. Snap is good, hold is good. This one is up, away, and through. So it is 14 to seven with 40 seconds left in this first half of play. Hurricanes will get the football back for just under a minute. So the Wildcats will boot this one back to the Hurricanes. East Hamilton leading by just one score here on Hurricane Hill. Back deep for the Hurricanes is Walls and Billis. You know, I'll never get tired of looking out across the field and seeing the rolling hills and the mountainous terrain that surrounds us, the lights high above the field. My high school football field that I play at, we had, we had corn on both sides of the field as far as you could see. <clears throat> and fair catch signaled for right near the 35-yard line. Kickoff is caught by Grayson Maddox at the Hurricane 35-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for East Hamilton. Juan Bullard in the shotgun. Check down pass close side to Kyrese Willis. Willis gets down over the 40. Tackled by Burke. Tackle on the play by Burke. 
To the 41, 25 seconds left now. And East Hamilton and the Hurricanes. I like to just run the clock out here to end the first half of action. So after two quarters of play, it's 14 to seven. The Hurricanes of East Hamilton leading the Wildcats of Hickson High School. Don't go anywhere.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we'd like to draw your attention to the middle of the field. As tonight is East Hamilton Youth Football Appreciation Night. The East Hamilton Youth Association is made up of over 100 tackle football players, making up five teams ranging in ages from 5 to 12 years old. They compete in the Tri-State Youth Football League. These young men are the foundation for future East Hamilton High School state championships. These teams just wrapped up the regular season and all five teams have qualified for the postseason. Please give a big round of applause for the 6U Hurricanes. The 8U Hurricanes. The 10U Black Hurricanes. The 10U Green Hurricanes. And the 12U Canes. Congratulations and good luck.
leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart, and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. True, dreadfully nervous I had been and am, but why will you say that I am mad? Madmen know nothing, but you should have seen me.
Welcome back here to East Hamilton High School. 14-7 at the halftime break. Quarter number three about to get underway. Hurricanes will be booting this one back to the Wildcats of Hickson High School. As owner of Mint Mobile, I want to Kick sent away a laser beam fielded just inside of the 10. Crossed the 25 and stopped before he can reach the 30. First and 10 now for Hickson High School and the Wildcats. The Wildcats ball first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Wildcats that need to go 72 yards to score here opening this third quarter. There's the give, far side. And a quick gain of about four yards right there to open the drive. Of about four yards, they'll bring up second and six for the Wildcats. Kendricks on the carry on that one. Michael Hinton makes the tackle. Finch here comes back to the huddle with a play call. It's second and about six for Hickson. Two out wide on either side for Finch in the offense. There's a fumble and football. Scramble for it at the 20-yard line, and the White Cap says the Hurricanes have it. Ben Cole falls on the football and is able to keep it away from the tailback. East Hamilton's offense will take over with possession right on top of the 30-yard line. Four out wide for Juan Bullard here. He has Javon Bullard at his side. Juan gives it off. Javon Bullard runs over a pair of defenders. Burke is able to slow him down enough. He is stopped at the 25-yard line, a gain of about six for the Hurricanes on first down. It'll bring up second and four. Juan Bullard wanted to throw the football. The whistle sounds before he can get this one off. The official will mark off five yards here on the false start. Second and about 10. Bullard wants to throw it. Check down pass to David Cole. Cole trucking over defenders and driven out after a gain of about six. Going to make it third and short. Third and a long three. Bullard on the keeper, coming to the close side, throws the stiff arm and tripped up 
Four defenders hit him right there. Burke, the one who had a hold of him. It's going to be fourth and short for the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. And the Hurricanes are going to go for it. The whistle sounds as a timeout taken down on the field by East Hamilton here. And they've taken their first of half number two. Nine and a half minutes left to go here in this third quarter. They're going to get together and talk it over. Hurricanes are satisfied. Their offense returns to the field. Fourth and short. East Hamilton needs about two yards. Fourth down for the Hurricanes. Juan Bullard in the shotgun. He has trips right. Cole alone on the close side and calling for the flag right there. Hurricanes are going to get it as the Wildcats jump off sides up front. And so the football will go from about the 23-yard line down to the 18. That'll make it first and 10 inside of the red zone for the Hurricanes. Same formation here on first down. Bullard checks down far side. A little bit of space here and a gain of about five yeah, yards for East Hamilton. At the 11, they'll bring up set down for the Hurricanes. Second and about three here for East Hamilton. Trips left this time. David Cole isolated on the back end. Bullard, he's going to run with it. Goes right up inside, pushes his way up in there, and that should be enough to move the chains. Indeed it will be. That'll make it first and goal for the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. Same formation here on first and goal. And right away the whistle sounds before the Hurricanes can get this play started. It's going to be a false start against the offense. Here's the snap, and the whistle sounds again. Flag on the, play. the flag before the Hurricanes can get this one started. Another false, false start against, against East Hamilton High School. Five yard penalty. Still first down. So that'll move the Hurricanes back to the 19-yard line of the Wildcats. Hicks in high school, excited to be able to pump the brakes here on this East Hamilton offense. Same formation and another flag. Again against the Hurricanes. Three false starts in a row against East Hamilton High School. First and forever, the football back to the 24-yard line. Bullard 
fires a bomb to the back of the end zone and it's caught for the touchdown. East Hamilton High School on first and 25. Finds the end zone for the touchdown strike. It's 20 to seven. What a score. And here's the PAT trying for two and Kyrie Willis unable to find his way up in there. It's no good. So it'll remain 20 to seven. Eight minutes and 12 seconds left to go in quarter three. Thanks for being with us for high school football. Don't go anywhere. So it's a 13 point game here on Hurricane Hill. 20 to seven is the tally. East Hamilton sending this one back away to Hexen. Hexen's kick goes into the end zone for a touchback. It'll be Wildcats football, first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. First and 10 here for the Wildcats. From the 20 yard line of their own side of the field. Check down pass close side and this one up to the 25 yard line. Quick gain right there. On the check down by the signal caller. Gain of five yards will bring up second and five for the Wildcats. Four out wide here. Finch gives it off to Kendricks. Trying to string it out towards the sideline, and it works. Across the 40, and loses the football near the midfield stripe. It's scooped back up by the Wildcats. Finally stopped. Just shy of the 40 of the Hurricanes. What a play right there to keep that football moving, keep that one rolling. There's another look at it. And you'll see Memphis Thomas scoops up the football as soon as it hits the turf and gets an extra 10 yards out of the play. Something tells me they didn't draw it up that way. Finch, headed left, he's in trouble and dragged down just past the line of scrimmage, able to avoid a loss there on first and 10. Football to the 35 yard line of the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School.
second and about nine. Too wide on the close side for Finch. He gives it off to Kendricks. Kendricks up along the far sideline over the 20, the 10, and he has the angle and is into the end zone. Touchdown, Hickson. The Wildcats get another one back. It's 20 to 13. Michael Kendricks had the angle as he cut up along the sideline there. Able to make his way easily into the end zone. There's another look at that one. What a carry. Snap is good, hold is good. This one is up, away, and through. So it's just a six-point football game here from the campus of East Hamilton High School. 20 to 14 as the Wildcats get another one back. Don't go anywhere, it's high school football. Hickson High School going to boot this one back to the Hurricanes here. Isaac Smith, the kicker for the Wildcats. Standing back deep along the goal line of the Hurricanes, Jake Rawls and Kyrese Willis. This one going to be fielded inside of the 20. And return man there, David Cole, steps out of play after a short gain for the Hurricanes. First and 10, East Hamilton High School will get another look at their offense. Wondrick Bullard well over 30 combined touchdowns on the season. He has just been electric. Hurricanes are undefeated in league play to this point. Here's the snap. Juan Bullard fakes the give to Javon. There's the keeper dragging defenders along with him all the way down to the 45 yard line. That'll move the chains. First and 10, East Hamilton Hurricanes after a gain of about 15 by Wandrick Bullard.
Looks like the officials might have made one of the defenders sub out. I'm assuming an equipment issue or error. First and 10 now for East Hamilton. Football on their own 45-yard line. Five minutes left in quarter three as Javon Bullard is swarmed in the backfield. Football hits the turf. The official signals that that is a fumble. It looks like Bullard is able to get that back, and it'll bring up second and long. There's another look at this one. You can see Juan Bullard gives it off to Javon right there. And football hits the turf pretty quickly. The officials signified that that was a fumble. Juan Bullard able to get it back. And right away, this one stopped. Close side official calls for the false start right there. Second and long now for East Hamilton. They need about 17 yards to move the chains. Four out wide, two on either side for Juan Bullard. Bullard in a bit of trouble. Checks it down to Kyrese Willis. He makes one man miss. Swarmed and dropped at the 36-yard line. Third and long now after a loss of about a yard. East Hamilton trips right. That's the far side. David Cole isolated alone on the close side, and before the play can get started, a timeout taken by the Wildcats in Hickson High School. East Hamilton would like to thank today's three game bill sponsor, El Maison, with two locations at Hamilton Place and Hickson. Well, let's take a look around at some other area scores and see what's going on in high school football in Southeast Tennessee. Northwest Whitfield trailing to Central Carroll in the third quarter, 21-17. Murrowville leading Bradley Central, 48-13 in quarter four. Cedartown leading Southeast Whitfield in quarter four, 48-7. Heritage leading Sonnerville 28 to 14 in quarter three. Cahola Creek leading Lafayette 21 to nothing in quarter four. Chattanooga Christian, Knoxville Webb tied at 21 in quarter four. Bullard calling for the snap here, trying to draw the defense off sides. Looking for that encroachment flag. Bullard wants to throw it. Chucks this one down the sideline. This is caught wide open deep down the field. A massive shift of the sticks. The Hurricanes gain about 40 yards on the pass to Kyrie's Willis. It's first and 10 just outside of the red zone. There's another look at that one. What a big time play by Willis to get open. First and 10, coming to the close side, across the 20 and tackled out of bounds. Pair of defenders right there. Billingsley. Second and medium now inside of the red zone.
And right away, this one has stopped. False start on the play. This one going against East Hamilton High School. Dalton High School trailing to Cartersville. Boyd Buchanan leading Knoxville Grace in quarter four, 28-20. Here we go, second and long now. Bullard fakes the give, he's gonna keep it. In trouble on the inside and tackled down right near the line of scrimmage. Just too many defenders there. Bounced off a two, tried to throw a stiff arm and just dragged down by that swarming defense. Hurricanes need nine yards here to move the chains. Two minutes left in quarter three. Two on either side for Juan Bullard. Rawls and Cole on the close side, LeBou and Willis on the back end. Javon Bullard is at Wandrick Bullard's side. He checks down close side to Cole. Cole's got a little room and takes a big shot right on the 15. Big hit by Kendricks right there. Cole is right near the line to gain. Close side official has got him right near the 14 yard line. They'll bring up fourth and one for the Hurricanes. Fourth and one here for the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. Trips right. Wandrick Bullard and Javon Bullard in the backfield. Juan going to keep it. Able to push through. That's a first down. Now he's free for the end zone and in. Able to deke out the linebackers and find his way into pay dirt. Touchdown, East Hamilton High School. It's 26-14 with 124 left in quarter three. What a carry by Wandrick Bullard right there. Looked like he was just going to try and push his way up in there for a couple of yards and kind of came through the pile unscathed, and he said, hey, I'm going to keep going. Reverse directions, reversed fields, came towards the close sideline and was unscathed on his way into the end zone. What a play. Hurricanes going for two here. Faking the give, trying to take it himself. He's in a bit of trouble, stumbles and falls. He's shy of the end zone, so the two-point conversion is no good. So with a minute and 24 left in quarter three, it's 26-14. The Hurricanes of East Hamilton are leading over the Wildcats of Hickson High. Central up over Liberty Creek big in quarter four. It's 37-14 in that game. Final score, Boyd Buchanan overcomes Knoxville Grace, 28-20. Red Bank up over Sequoia, 27-0 in quarter three. There's a few other scores from around the area for you. Thanks for tuning into our game. Appreciate it. Hurricanes boot this one back through the back of the end zone. It's a touchback. Here comes Finch in the Wildcat offense. One. One. 
He wants to throw, rolling close side. Check down pass is complete. Defender forced out of play right away by Michael Hinton. Jace Moses got a hold of the football right near the 20 yard line. Able to skip his way up along the sideline there. Picks up two, maybe three yards. Second and long, seven or eight yards to go. Hickson High School working from the close hash mark here. One receiver on the far side, two on the close side. Kendricks is alongside Finch here. Finch to give to Kendricks. Tried to come up along the close sideline and tackled down from behind right there, unable to escape Zach Barcelona. Wildcats need about five yards to move the chains here. And they're going to go ahead and let quarter number three come to a close here on top of Hurricane Hill. After three quarters of play, it's 26 to 14. The Hurricanes leading the Wildcats. Don't go anywhere. So there you go, three quarters are in the books and coming into our final frame of action, it's 26 to 14. The Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School are leading the Wildcats of Hickson High School. Thank you for being with us here tonight. I'm Gabriel Fry. Mallory and Hayden are two student producers here tonight doing an excellent job. Mallory is senior with the audio video program here at East Hamilton High School. Hayden is just getting started, he's a freshman. Here's a deep pass, and this one is incomplete, in and out of the hands of his intended target there. I'm not sure if the defensive back got a hand on that or if he just couldn't hook that one in. It's fourth and medium, and so the punt unit of Hickson will come onto the turf. In the punt for Hickson is Isaac Smith. Back deep for the Hurricanes are Kyrie Willis and David Cole. Football is right on top of the 25-yard line. The punter, Isaac Smith on the 10, gets this one away. And Kyrie Willis just lets this one go. It'll be down to the 35. The punt is down at the 36-yard line where East Hamilton will take the ball, first and 10. So here comes this Hurricane offense. They have been electric this season. Pretty much unstoppable on offense. As of right now, this team has scored just about, eh, they've scored 300 points exactly on the season. Thirty points per game, including tonight's contest. False start right there. East Hamilton, lots of false start penalties against them in the second half of play. Not something they've struggled with until tonight.
and headed up along the far sideline for a nice little gain right there. Wanderick Bullard. Able to move the chains, it's first and 10. So from the 48-yard line, man in motion is Rawls. He takes the handoff on the end around. Rawls up along the 40, runs the spin move and tackled just inside of play. Taken down there by Suttles. There's a flag. Down on the 35-yard line here. The officials are talking this one out still. The white cap is calling that one a holding against East Hamilton High School. So they'll march back to Hurricanes. They'll have to run another play here. After the penalty, it'll be first down and nine yards to go for East Hamilton. Football from the 47 yard line of the Wildcats. Trips left for Bullard. David Cole alone on the close side. Tailback alongside him here. He's standing in the shotgun. Wubu, Rawls, and Willis, the receivers on the far side. Wants to throw on Corks one down the close sideline. This one was out of play. I think David Cole was looking for the flag there, but he was overshot on the pass. Clock will stop with just under 11 minutes to go here in quarter four. It's a 12 point football game here on Hurricane Hill. Final contest of the regular season for these two programs. Coming to the close side here and able to bowl his way forward for about six yards. Pretty impressive carry. Short yardage situation here for East Hamilton High School. 90 seconds gone already in quarter four. Trips left. Robert Walters sends in the play call to Bullard. Bullard gives it off up inside and a nice little carry right there. Very close to the line to gain. Zane Liffick gets it down to the 43 yard line and that'll move the chains. First and 10 Hurricanes, 10 minutes left in today's contest. Four out wide, two on either side. Bullard wants to throw it. Little pump there, now he's in danger. Escapes one defender. Near the sideline, steps back. Here's a laser up the sideline. This one is incomplete and a little skirmish going on there between the DB and receiver. There's a flag on that play. Whitecap headed down the turf here to convene with his crew and see what the other two officials are calling for a penalty for. Clock has stopped with 9.27 showing. Apparently we have a pass interference against the offense. Pass interference is the call. That one on that receiver who is in a little skirmish downfield. 
And so that'll move the Hurricanes back a long way. Faking the give, Bullard finesses this one over the middle, and it's incomplete. Bullard's in pass intended for LeBou falls incomplete. They bring up second down and 25 for the Hurricanes. Couldn't connect with his intended target. Second and very long for East Hamilton High School. The line to gain just over the 30, down to about the 28-yard line. The football is on their own 47. Four out wide here for Juan Bullard. He's going to go ahead and keep it. Tried to run behind the left tackle and guard and is dragged down right away. Hurricanes would need to gain just about 25 yards to move the chains here on third down. Four out wide. Bullard wants to throw. Uncorks one down the close side, and this is incomplete. It looks like he wanted a flag right there, and he's not going to get it. We'll see what the call is. This time we will have pass interference against the defense. And it will remain third down here on Hurricane Hill. So that'll put the, the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School right back near the original line of scrimmage. Third down, Bullard throws it over the middle. This one tipped and intercepted. Off of the hands of LeBou into the hands of the safety. A big time pick there by Knight Michael Nix. So it goes from being a potentially game ending conversion on third down to Michael Nix breathing some life into the Wildcats. There is a flag on the back end of that play. We'll see what the call is. Call is against East Hamilton High School, and of course the Wildcats will decline the pass interference right there. Great second look at that play. Again, great job by tonight's production crew. Mallory, the senior, student here at East Hamilton High School. Hayden, the freshman, getting his first couple cracks at television production here with Scott Moore. There's the give to Kendricks. He tries to follow the left tackle. Came up alongside his outside hip. Got the football down to the 35-yard line. Going to make it second and seven. He 
Incomplete pass here on second down. Trying to hook up with Suttles on the close side, and Finch just can't quite fit it in there. Overshot him a little bit. He gets taken down by the defensive back. Pass falls to the turf. Seven and a half minutes left to go in tonight's contest. Wildcats are trailing by 12 here. Here we go, going to the far side this time, and the tailback gain of two, maybe three yards. It's going to bring up fourth down. Hickson needs this yardage. It looks like they've elected to go for it with under seven minutes to go. Three out wide, two on the far side. Finch fakes the give. He wants to throw. Rolling far side. This is complete. What a snag. Able to keep this drive alive. That was Frederick right there. Able to get a hold of the football. Hangs on to it and gets out of play. That'll move the chains. Hickson High School continues battling here. First and 10, football just shy of the midfield stripe. There's the give. Kendricks trying to bounce his way up in there, knife his way up in there for some yardage, unable to do so. Bounces it outside and continues to chug forward, able to power his way there for about four yards total. Six minutes left to go. Finch in the shotgun. He's got four out wide. Wants to throw it. Pressure is coming. Rolling far side. The check down pass is complete right near the sideline. That'll make it third and about one. There's a flag on the play. It's right near the 50-yard line. This one is going to go against the offense. A 10-yard penalty against the Wildcats. And that hurts. You're starting to get some momentum. You're starting to drive in the face of a lot of pressure, too, with under six minutes to go. They need two touchdowns. Then the hold. Second and long. Very long. Four out wide for Finch and the Wildcats. Finch wants to throw, lasers this and over the middle. It's complete right near the midfield stripe. Four defensive backs on him. Frederick gets it back to the original line of scrimmage. Wildcats need 10 yards. Third down, four out wide. Finch checks down to the close side. It's incomplete. Tried to hook up with Kendricks right there on the check down. Javon Bullard thought it might have been a fumble for a moment. Not much of a decision to be made here with 444 left to go in the contest. That amount of time really dictates you've got to go for this. The Wildcats need a little more than nine yards. 
We're on wide, two on either side. Finch is in danger. Rolling to the close side and takes a shot as he's able to get back to the midfield stripe. That's a turnover on downs. First and 10, East Hamilton High School and the Hurricanes will take over with the football right there. Bullard and this offense just looking to salt away the last few minutes of this contest. Bullard fakes the give. There's the keeper headed far side. Wrapped and dropped right away. Four defenders there. That'll make up second and ten. 420 left to go. Four out wide for Bullard in the offense. Check down pass close side to Cole. Cole over the 40. Up along the sideline, across the 20, the 10. He's gone to the end zone. Touchdown, East Hamilton High School. And they're going to say that Cole stepped out. Back on the 25-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Hurricanes just outside of the red zone. There's the give to Javon Bullard, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second and long now. Here's another look at what was going to allegedly be a scoring play. It does look like he stepped out. Uh, that right, right there, maybe. Maybe not. Hard to tell. I certainly couldn't tell. The camera's got a much better view than I did. We'll go with it. Up on one. Has to be middle. Second and long. Bullard fires a howitzer to the corner of the end zone. Lots of contact right there. And obviously the flag going to fly with just three minutes left in this evening's contest. Waiting for them to sort this out. Ball, personal foul, personal foul here is the call against the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. Wildcats will take that one. Football all the way back to the 39-yard line of Hickson. Now the keeper headed left side. He's got a little bit of space and finally dragged down as he crosses over the 25-yard line. Fourth down now for East Hamilton High School as the Hicks and Wildcats have taken a timeout. Just a reminder, we'd love to have you here with us next Friday night. 
for a Region 3 championship already decided. The Hurricanes victorious in that. Very likely to host that contest. I believe it's already been decided. They're going to host for sure. Whoever that opponent is has yet to be decided from my understanding. It's very likely to be a specific region and already looked at the bracket and have a pretty good idea who it's going to be, but not entirely sure. That's still pending outcomes of other contests. Twelve point game. Fourth down, Hurricanes are going to go for it. They need about six yards. Pass over the middle is incomplete, so the Wildcats will get the football back. First and ten now for the Wildcats of Hickson High School. Their offense will get to work back on their own 21-yard line. Ringold leading Lakeview, Fort Oglethorpe, 49 to seven in quarter four. Heritage leading Sonoraville, 35-21 in quarter four. Finch wants to throw. Here's one over the middle, it's incomplete. Rainbow ball just overshot his intended target. Second and long. Hickson high, there's the give and nothing doing. Tried to reverse fields, carry it up inside and taken down right away, it's third down. Michael Kendricks tackled by Isaac Ross right there. Now on third down. Boy, there's a laser to the close side and a little bit of space to work with. Looks like he's able to move the chains. Good ball, hooking up with Frederick on the close side. Nasaya Frederick gains about 15. That'll make it first and 10 Wildcats. Under two to go in the contest. Looking far side of this one and nothing doing there. Memphis Thomas, the intended target there for Finch. Just couldn't quite fit it in there. Second and 10 for Luke Finch in the offense. 142 left to go in Q4. Be sure to subscribe to East Hamilton Television. Over the middle, Finch is intercepted on the 45-yard line. Hurricane defensive back read that one, saw the pass coming, got underneath of it, and his second interception of the day, Michael Hinton, grabs that one. That's a turnover in favor of East Hamilton.
to the close side. A little bit of space to work with. Up along the sideline, Kyrie Willis with a gorgeous little gain here late. Good for an Arbor Exteriors. First down, Hurricanes. At the 21-yard line. Another look at that one right there. Now on first and 10 for Juan Bullard in the offense. There's the give and not a whole lot doing. Stumbled and Javon Bullard able to get about five yards. Brings up second and five for the Hurricanes. So with 66 seconds left to go, it's second and five. Bullard gives it off up inside. A quick carry makes it third down. Javon Bullard again on the carry. Gets up to the 15-yard line. Hurricanes need to run one more play here. And doesn't look like the officials will make them run it. Five seconds forgotten to the annals of time. 26 to 14 will be your final score as the Hurricanes finish the season seven and three overall. The Wildcats drop to five and five on the year. Great game of high school football. Thanks for being with us. I'm Gabriel Shry again, your final score 26 to 14. Be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you next time.